Hey guys, so I'm going to do my own haul. Things I actually purchased with my own money. I haven't done one of these in so long. Um, did I? I don't know. I'll have to look. Anyway, but I have something. Actually, I lied. Two of the things I'm going to show you were sent to me by a subscriber. I actually got some makeup that I wanted to talk about and do like first impressions type um, commentary on the products. When I do show them, I'll do that at the end. Um, I'm going to show you the clothes that I got first. The first two things are the things I'm going to show you from the subscriber. She is, um, her name's Stephanie. She's the owner of Distressed Vintage, which you may or may not have heard of. I'll link it down below. Um, it's an Etsy shop that they do custom denim, like cut off shorts, studded, tie dye, whatever you want. And then they have some pre-made ones on their website as well that you can purchase. Um, but she sent me these two pairs and I'm absolutely in love with them. And I had to show them at least in a haul, but you'll see them styled anyway through videos but the first pair is my favorite and it's these red denim these are super comfortable and I love them they both fit amazing and these have silver studs on the sides of the jean and these are Abe jeans which I've never heard of before um, I'm pretty sure she dyed these um, I'm not sure but the color is amazing I love these shorts so much and the next pair is less high-waisted those are pretty high-waisted and these, she did um, all these studs, but the, there's like rows of cone studs as well as um, pyramid studs, and I really, really love them. They're just very distressed. And these are actually old Levi's, and I like the gray color because I wear a lot of dark clothing, you know, so <laughs> I think these are perfect. Moving on, I got some things from Ross, and um, normally I don't shop there, but Sam and I went there just, to, you know, to whatever, I don't know what I'm saying. The mosey around, I think is what I was trying to say, but that doesn't even make sense. So, we just wanted to check out Ross and see what kind of stuff they have in. Sometimes you can get some really awesome things there for so cheap. I got three shirts, all for $23. That's amazing. Actually, I think it was $26 in between there. So the first one that I got was this hot pink chiffon shirt. The front of it is pretty cropped. I'm going to wear it with some like high-waisted black shorts or jeans. Um, it is a very high-low, as you can see. And it's just so pretty. It is a size large because they didn't have any others, but I kind of like that oversized fit anyway. I'll probably just wear it with a black bandeau underneath it in the summer. I love it. This next one's pretty funny. I fell in love with it, and they had a lot there. And it's so, so cool. It's this gray top with all these mustaches on it, and it's all like French here. Um, like, bonjour, ooh la la, mon chéri. I don't speak French. I studied a sign language in college, so... And Spanish. Anyway, I like the mustaches. I know mustaches were really popular at one point. I feel like they're kind of dying out now, but each top I think was like $7.99. Your lipstick going to you? No. Each top was like $7.99, so you can't really beat that. $8, and I love it, and I tucked it in some high-waisted black jeans, the ones I'm actually wearing right now. So then the last thing, the mustache shirt I've already worn, and this one I've already worn, and this one I styled so cute. I was in love with the way I styled it. Um, not to sound like conceited or anything. Funny, the brand is called Self Esteem. Camel print tank, and it's perfect, and I actually bought it with the intention of cropping it and cutting it, making it a crop top, but the way I styled it, I tied up the front, like I just tied a knot in it, so it kind of showed my stomach, but not too much, with um, black high-waisted jeans, like the ones I'm wearing right now, so um, I really, really liked it. So the last four things are all beauty products. I went to Walmart yesterday for grocery shopping, Sometimes I'll go grocery shopping at Walmart. Most of the time it's Winco, but Walmart's so bad. I know I, I don't like Walmart. I hate going there. So I got some makeups, and um, I'm actually was in the market was for a new foundation, and I was gonna buy a Dior one, which is so expensive because a lot of the foundations I have, though I love, most of them are made for oily skin, and I have very dry skin even in the summer and it just gets like kind of flaky and dry patches and the matte foundations highlight that and um, I didn't like that and especially my Chanel one I love the Chanel one and some of the ones that I own I love but they're either not long wearing or not exactly my color there's always something wrong with them my favorite one that I own that I've been using is the Bourjois Healthy Mix um, that you can get in the UK. I know ASOS used to sell it. I don't think they do anymore. I think they sell the serum one on there, which I really want to try. Um, but I'm running so low on that, and I think it breaks me out. I don't know. But I've been breaking out so bad, but I think it's a combination of things. Um, 
I have to wash my makeup brushes. I haven't done or washed my foundation brush in so long, which is probably one of the reasons why I'm breaking out so bad, but um, it may or may not be the bourgeois foundation. I don't know. So I was in the market for a new foundation. I really wanted one that was meant a little bit more dewy, um, a little lighter coverage. I don't know. So I was just browsing Walmart and came across this section, which I never shop in this section. It was kind of next to the Neutrogena foundations. It's all me. And um, I was like, okay, I'll check it out because Neutrogena had a blemish clearing or skin clearing foundation and that intrigued me, but they didn't have the right color. The lightest one was still a little too dark for me. I'm really pale. So I looked like one little thing over and there was the Alme ones and it says blemish heal technology clear com complexion. So it's the Alme clear complexion foundation. It actually has salicylic acid in it. It's 0.6% so it's not a lot but it's enough to clean your skin. I don't know how you'd call it. I know it's kind of contradictory to say that a foundation is clearing your pores as it sits on top of them <laughs> but um, yeah I think I think it's pretty cool. So we'll see if it actually like helps with the blemishes, but I wanted to try it. So I'm in the shade Buff, which is shade 200. It was either between this one or the lightest shade, um, which was more pink tone. They're about the same color, but well shade, but one was pink and this one's more yellow. I have it on right now. I have to say this is amazing. My first impression of it, this, today's the first day I've used it. I love this foundation. Everything about it is amazing um, as far as how it applies. Um, I can't say obviously if it helps clear blemishes or how long wearing it is because I've had it on for like, what time is it? It's almost 12 right now. I've had it on for maybe two hours um, and it's kind of hot in my apartment right now so I'm kind of sweaty. But I love the finish. Um, the finish is really nice. It does kind of set quickly but it doesn't set matte so it's really not it's very I think it'd be good for oily and dry skin to be honest it's very neutral it's not super glowy and it's not matte it's kind of like in between like a satin skin finish which is really amazing another thing I'm super picky on is if I can see it on my skin there to an extent obviously if you have foundation on it's not gonna look like your normal skin Obviously, no foundation is ever flawless to the point where it looks like your natural skin. Um, foundation just can't really mimic that, at least from ones I've tried. The Bourjois Healthy Mix comes pretty close and that color to me it matches really well so it, it, it's the most natural looking. I tend to wear it on days where I want to look more natural if I'm in daylight a lot. Whereas on filming days I can wear whatever because you guys can't really tell anyway. Um, so I'm really picky with that, but this one, amazing, doesn't sit in the pores, granted I use Benefit Porefessional um, where my pores are largest on my cheeks, but it sits amazing on the skin, it looks really natural. Um, the thing about it, I know this is really long conversation of me talking about this right now, I apologize, I'm wrapping it up. Hold on. One thing about this is it's really, really sheer coverage. When I first put it on I was like, uh oh. This isn't going to do anything for me, but it's super buildable and I actually prefer doing two to three layers of a sheer foundation versus one thick layer of a full coverage foundation. I think it looks more natural when you have a sheer coverage foundation and you just build it up in the places that you need it and then it's not heavy in the places where you don't need it. So I typically need extra coverage on the sides of my face where I have my acne scarring and a little bit right here where I get pink. So what I did is I put a thin layer all over my face and then I went back in on the sides with my brush um, to put one more layer on my cheeks and then I went in with my fingers and just kind of like spot went to and like blended it in with my fingers for the third layer to make it look even more natural. Still didn't look like I had a lot of makeup on. It looked amazing. Still looks amazing when I look in the mirror. In this daylight it looks great on the skin. So I highly recommend this if you're interested in like a skin clearing type um, foundation that looks natural and they have a good color range but not super flawless or anything. They have my color which I'm really pale so that was impressive. So the next thing I got is a concealer. I got the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer and I got this, I don't know why I got this to be honest because um, the only hard candy I've ever tried was a bronzer like four years ago and it broke me out really bad. And so I'm trying Hard Candy Concealer, which you put on your face <laughs> and um, on acne. 
so if it breaks me out it's gonna make it look worse but actually the shade that I got in ultralight is a little bit too light but I used it under my eyes and um, it looks amazing it's really really brightening I don't know if you can tell and I actually used it on my cheekbones as well for a little bit of a highlight um, it's not like a shimmery or anything but it's lighter than my skin so it does kind of brighten this whole area um, which is typically where I like to brighten is right on kind of like the outer portion of my eye on my cheekbone um, so I really like it for that I probably won't use it on my blemishes I did use a little bit in like this triangle area um, just because I get kind of red in my near my nose um, but I do really like it I tried it on my tattoo um, not right now obviously but I did try it on my tattoo I can see how it would cover really well but it, it doesn't match my skin perfectly so to me it would look really obvious that you have a bunch of makeup on your arm <laughs> where it doesn't match um, and then it comes with this like little concealer pencil in the shade tan which I don't know why they would put a shade tan with a really light color this does not match at all I don't know what I'm gonna use this for um, they say to outline your tattoo with this um, sorry, I'm hoping I'm not getting lipstick on my finger. Um, they say to outline your tattoo with this and then fill it in with this and that kind of keeps it in that little area. I don't know, it doesn't match my skin so I don't know how I'm supposed to use that and I don't know, maybe I'm just not getting it. But yeah, I tried this out. Let me know if you guys like it, if it breaks you out at all on your face. Um, but I probably will keep it under my eyes even though I don't have a lot of issues with um, darkness under there. Sometimes I don't wear concealer at all under my eyes. But if you have an issue with darkness under the eyes, I highly recommend trying that out. It is super heavy duty. It's not the most natural looking, but it doesn't look super cakey at all. It, it actually looks pretty good under the eyes. Still looks like you have makeup on, but not as... I mean, any concealer is really going to do that if you're going for a full coverage under the eye. You kind of got to be careful with that because... Obviously something like a click pen, you know, those highlighting pens, isn't going to cover your bags or your dark circles but you don't want to go super full coverage with like your foundation under your eyes because that can look cakey. That doesn't look cakey to me. I really like it on under my eyes. So then I wanted some brow products. Um, obviously I've been doing my eyebrows and I didn't use these today obviously because they're still in the package. I just kind of pulled this at random. Um, I've never even heard anything about these but it's the CoverGirl Brow and Eye Makers. I don't know why there's two. I don't know. One's supposed to be an eyeliner and one's supposed to be a brow shaper. Um, yeah, I wouldn't use it on my eyes, but now I have two eyebrow pencils. <laughs> this is in soft blonde, and I liked the color. It's kind of not a super warm color because I don't want um, it to look orange or anything. And it says it's water resistant, which is nice because it means it'll last a little bit longer. It's kind of a waxy texture. Um, so I'm excited to try these. Let me know if you've tried these, if you like them. But I'm kind of in the market for a new brow product just because my Smashbox... Um, brow tech is kind of getting gross. <laughs> I don't wash my eyebrow brush that much and so when I do the wax it gets gunky in the powder. Anyway, this kind of weird description and gross but um, you get what I'm saying. So if you're wondering what's on my lips right now, I have the answer for you. I wanted to try one of these Maybelline Vivids really really bad so I went into that section and they were only $5.50 at Walmart. So the color I'm wearing is actually pretty similar to the coloring of the packaging, but all of them are in this orange packaging, which I really like actually. It's really, I don't know, it looks nice. Um, the color that I got is Vibrant Mandarin, which super, super bright orangey red. Oh my god, I'm in love with this color. It just looks so gorgeous. I mean, I don't have to swatch it because you can see, but it is a little bit more muted on my lips right now because I used a darker nude pencil beneath it. So it's not really that true to color. It is a lot more like the color of this packaging a little bit. Um, a little bit less orange. But yeah, I think it's really gorgeous. I want to go back and get so many more of them because they're so amazing and they feel great on the lips. They do transfer on the teeth, so I'm kind of like paranoid about that. Um, I like got some on there. But yeah, I think they're really amazing. I've heard from Veronica Ann, who's one of my friends on the interwebs. Um, she said it lasted like two hours on her lips, so that's pretty good um, for me anyway because that's how long I typically would want my lipstick to last. I don't do anything all day where I need it to last, but you could always touch it up. I mean, it is a very creamy finish and a creamy consistency, so that's why it's not super long wearing. If you want a super long wearing color, you probably want to do a matte. 
um, but because it is a very like satiny type creamy finish, which I, I prefer um, because it's really comfortable on the lips. Um, you can just touch it up as you go. If you're wondering about my ring, um, I got it from a company called Kitsy Lane, which I actually have a boutique on their website if you want to see and like shop my pics, which they have amazing freaking jewelry on there. Oh my gosh. And most of it's real like silver. So it is some, some of it's a little bit more pricey. Um, this ring I'm obsessed with though because I mean it is sterling. I think it's sterling. Won't turn my finger green. It's so gorgeous. I mean, I'm in love with this ring. Um, and I got a few more pieces. I'm going to do a whole video announcing my little boutique on there. But I thought I'd give you guys a little inside to those of you who stick around towards the end of my hauls. You get this little bonus info. My link to my um, boutique will be down below. Definitely check it out. I think it's an amazing website. And they have such awesome stuff on there so you can shop my pics about things that I really love um, the things that I got will be in that little section obviously so definitely check that out if you're interested so that concludes my personal haul video um, I do have a runway haul video and styling coming up really soon um, so keep a lookout for that I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon bye